The 104th Tour de France will offer up to 10 chances for sprinters to take glory as they hunt for the coveted green points jersey. Firstly, Peter Sagan. The last five years have seen Peter Sagan dominate proceedings with the Slovakian winning every jersey on offer. With a second world championship title under his belt, the Bora Hansgrohe rider seems only to be getting better. 2017 started off quietly for Sagan, but he is still impressed on occasion with wins at Kerna Brussels Kerna and two stages at the Tirreno Adriatico. Now, after taking his sixth Tour of California points classification in seven years, the world champ is getting into gear at just the right time to defend his green jersey at this year's race. Last year was a bumpy year for Sagan, as he also wore the yellow jersey for the first time after taking victory on stage two. Producing a resurgent year in 2016, Mark Cavendish showed that he still has what it takes to win consistently on the cycling world's biggest stage. Recording four stage victories compared to 2015's solitary one, Cavendish looked back to his best before quitting the race to concentrate his efforts on the 2016 Rio Olympics. 2017 hasn't been so good for the Manxman though, securing only a single victory for Dimension Data on the first stage of the Abu Dhabi Tour before coming down with glandular fever. Cavendish is aiming to add another five stage victories to his 30 wins and overhaul Eddie Merck's record of 34 stage wins at the Tour. He's lacking the same pre-race build-up as his main rivals, so there will be question marks over how Cavendish performs this year. Despite a strong showing at 2016's Giro d'Italia that saw Kittel take the pink jersey for a stage and secure two stage victories, the German was only able to take one stage win at the Tour. Kittel hasn't deviated from a tried and tested schedule though, taking the overall at the Dubai Tour two years in a row before winning Shell de Prix for the second year running too. He has bettered last year's build-up with a stage victory at the Tour of California in May though. However, with Quickstep teammate Fernando Gaviria having a storming Grand Tour debut at the Giro d'Italia earlier this year, Kittel will be hoping to replicate his most successful Tour de France campaigns where he recorded four stage wins in each. After being hit by a car on a training ride at the beginning of last year, John Denkolb's season was plagued with injuries and poor luck as he missed the Spring Classics and recorded just one victory. Now with a new team in Trek Segafredo and a series of top 10s including Milan San Remo, the Tour of Flanders and Paris-Roubaix, Degenkolb will hope to catapult himself back into the form he saw in 2015 when he took both Paris-Roubaix and Milan San Remo as well as victory at a stage of the Vuelta a España. Having just recorded a single stage victory at the Tour de France for 2016, Michael Matthews will hope to push on from being a nearly man into a true sprint contender. 2017 saw Matthews leave the Australian team Orica Green Edge for Team Sunweb as Orica began to shift their focus to more GC orientated ambitions. Matthews will need to use his versatility to beat some of the purer sprinters. Being more adept on the climbs, the tougher stages could benefit him with a reduced sprinting field. One of the most formidable sprinters in recent years, André Greipel has placed his mark with a stage win in every Tour de France since 2011. The Lotto Soudal rider has only ever secured one Grand Tour points jersey at the Vuelta a España in 2009 but will once again be likely to focus on stage wins to add to the Giro victory he's already taken this year. The last time he won a single stage at the Giro was in 2015, and that year he went on to win four stages at the Tour de France. After being on the receiving end of a sprinting masterclass from Giro debutant Fernando Gaviria earlier this year, Greipel will no doubt be eager to improve on his tally of wins.